Hey, what's up? It's Tom. Just wanted to take a little break from the Building the Ultimate Techno Setup Videos series. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for commenting and throwing in some cool ideas. I definitely appreciate any suggestions. This is kind of like a, a learning process. I kind of live in the techno void or a techno void of the world. There's not really much going on here as far as techno goes. There's a little bit of house here, but not no techno. No techno. So this is something I came across. This is just another tool to add to your arsenal. It's just an example, I think, of something that's really cool that happens every now and then is like, if you wanna do something and you don't have like the specific gear, the usual way to do that thing, trying to figure out how to do it with what you have can lead to some interesting results. And in a way, I think that kind of helps mold something into your own sound. What I did is I have the SP1200 here standing in for the Octatrack. Basically, I have a normal 909, and I have it EQ'd heavily. There's a uh, channel one, the low end's boosted, and the highs are cut. And we're getting a little bit of saturation from the preamp here. Going in the red during mixing is okay, especially more with analog stuff. Definitely wouldn't do it with digital. And then the heat is also adding some stuff. So this isn't what a 909 typically sounds like. All right, and on this other pad right here, I have another 909 except instead of just playing the whole sample I kind of cut off the front and just kind of started it after the initial attack in hopes to get just the rumble part and that here's what that sounds like it's a cool effect um, it's a little different it's like I said it's not the way to to do it typically normally you would use like a in particular I would use a plate reverb some EQ some compression maybe a gate maybe some saturation I mean there's a bunch of different ways to go about it but this is kind of a different way to do it with hardware it's not like a like a super profound thing or anything like that but it's just a different different way to do it I was doing this with the Octatrack with the, the, the built-in delay effect. Um, that's how I was doing the rumble kick on the uh, Techno System videos. Uh, that kick would get sent out to its own channel and the Octatrack would provide uh, EQ and then also the delay, which was set to 16th notes. So some interesting things happen with this. I had to split the channels. You can't play more than one sound out of one channel at a time, right? So what was happening is, is like I would trigger the first kick and then the second one would come in like in the middle of the tail of the first one and it wasn't at a zero crossing. So what happens is, is you get uh, a little click on the end of there. So that's why I split it up on the channels. So I got the rumble on four again. And that took care of that. Now you can still kind of hear a little bit of like a pulse which is okay. I mean, uh, I think it kind of gets lost in the mix, especially when you start adding 16th hats and stuff. So the result is you get that really low end, like that beef, right? I mean, the walls are shaking here. Yeah, I got a sub going, so I'll show you what that sound sounded like initially. And so that's the kick sample and it's pitched down as well. In this case, I did pitch down the rumble. It's lower than the kick. You know, with a delay, you know, it trails off, right? The SP1200 has a feature called dynamic buttons. Select sound. Sorry, I can't see my screen, so. So it just it just maps the that one sound across the buttons, the pads. I actually use the first three. So this is what it would sound like if you didn't chop off of the front. Yeah, not, not really ideal. So let's chop that back down. And I'm just gonna trim this just a little bit. Cool, and that, that works for now. Make it permanent, no. So as you can see, it takes a little tweaking, a little messing around. Yeah, you could do that with any sampler. You could do that with like a little Korg. Uh, what's the vocal sample the vocal sampler you could do it with that um, I mean we're talking about like ultra basic functions here it's cool thanks for watching see you next time